Jason Whitlock, a man who has rubbed people the wrong way. And he got exactly what he asked for after tweeting, how is this possible? Appropriate? Jason, they're called targeted ads. You dope. You goober. And so here we go again, back with another one. Welcome to the Dark Times channel. And before I go ahead and get started, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you're not new to the channel and you enjoy the content so far on this channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. I posted a video less than 24 hours ago in regards to Jason Whitlock. If you get right with God and get into your Bible and realize that you are what is that? What is that? Is that a new God? That a new now, now, you, now you can't make it in life if you don't believe in God based on what you're saying. Are you afraid to burn in hell? Excuse me? Are you? And I didn't think I'd be doing another video on Jason Whitlock this soon, but I had to. I had to chime in on the latest. Mr. Whitlock, Mr. Holy Man, allegedly, he's into adult content that has to do with going balls deep. <laughs> it's not enough to go in deep. He has to go in balls deep, allegedly. At least that's what his targeted ads suggest. And this is not one of those videos where I'm gonna bash somebody for looking at adult content. God forbid, do what you want. You're an adult. You should be able to do what you want. You should be able to do it, whatever gets you off. See the world, enjoy yourself, fulfill every erotic desire. As long as you're not hurting nobody and you're not breaking any laws, do what you want. And so this is not one of those videos where I'm bashing somebody for looking at adult content. But the fact that Jason Whitlock went on social media to complain about some inappropriate ads that were popping up on NFL.com says a lot. This whole far right Christian family values is a facade. The fact that you gotta create this false sense of identity to get a paycheck, to denigrate your own community to get a paycheck, because that's what he does. Jason Woodlock would have you believe that he's out here getting it from the mud. He's out here building something on his own. He doesn't even own his own show. It's owned by The Blaze. And if some of y'all aren't familiar with The Blaze, The Blaze is one of these far right wing conservative networks what rights black people don't have also white people yeah we do have a record of critique of your oppression in fact do you know how many of our ancestors fought in the civil war to free your ancestors bloodiest war in the united states history was over what was right and it was largely white people fighting it and they spew a whole bunch of right-wing conservative talking points that's who's writing his paychecks so that's why you notice when he has these panels He's always surrounded by a whole bunch of just random white dudes in the background looking on. That's because he's owned by the blaze. And that's part of Jason Whitlock's whole stick. It's for black people to stop asking for handouts and get out here and do something for yourself. Well, not everybody's comfortable being a sellout. It's a law and people just obeyed the law at the time. And when I was growing up, I had to pick cotton. The, the guys were taking out- You were born on a have, plantation. Have you ever picked cotton? No, sir. You have not lived until you pick cotton. <laughs> You're being too controversial for me. It's gonna get my show taken off the air. It's fun to pick cotton. It's fun. <laughs> it, it makes a man out of you. Really? <laughs> because most blacks are so lazy now. Oh, Jesus. Be because of the government. In all of those things that exist for black people, like standard of life, quality of life, I'm wondering, is America possibly not playing the same game with us that it is with everybody else, or is your answer to that entire glob of inequity basically that niggas ain't shit? Really, man? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's your question? <laughs> and so Jason Woodlock is just one of the latest people to get called out for his hypocrisy. And if y'all notice, it's always these far right wing evangelical conservatives that get caught up in these illicit scandals and deals like this. I'm not saying that this is an illicit scandal or anything like that. It's Jason Whitlock being overly sanctimonious about an advertisement that was targeted to him based on what he was looking at, based on his search history. And only God knows what he was looking at. 
because truth be told, allegedly, he might be another Jesse Lee Peterson. Allegedly, he could be into a little bussy on the side. He's out here talking about a family and this is a man that's never been married. This is a man with no kids. Family, 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 family values. But yet no wife, no kids in sight. And so that makes a lot of people wonder. You gotta watch out for these right-wing conservatives. You gotta watch out for the liberal ones too, but at least the liberal ones are up front with their freakiness. So that's why I say these conservative ones be the worst ones. You wanna talk about skeletons in closets. These conservatives, I tell you, and many of y'all already knew what time it was with Jason Whitlock. Many of y'all, like myself, already knew what time it was. It was an act. It's always been an act with Jason Whitlock. This is an individual that has low self-esteem. I was, I'm not that smart, man. Uh, that's fine. I'm not that's special. Right. That's, that's not that's, I know. That's, come on. It, it's Look, fine. see how fat I come am, on. Being a big fella in the space, I'm just saying, ain't got nothing to do with it. Not like I walked through the door at six foot three, two hundred. No, it ain't got nothing to do with it. Does. The experience. It does. It does. It does. Oh Lord, it's yes, it does. And he thinks that the only way he can make it is by being a bootleg. The only way that he can make it in this life, the only way he can get some crumbs, is by being a bootleg. And he's probably right. He's probably right, especially if he has that mentality. He's probably right. But go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know how y'all feel about this one. And as usual, peace and chaos.